dun 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 oh wrong shark movie <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> Welcome to Drawing Conclusions. I'm Josh. I'm Jessica. And today we're talking about the May. The May. <laughs> so unfortunately, like, this is one of the most devastating things that's ever happened to me, to be quite <laughs> honest. I was out of town for the Meg. For work this week, and I missed seeing the Meg. And so Josh had to go see it without me. Yeah, so oh. semi-solo review here. I'm the <laughs> only one who saw this fun flick. Oh, so. And I was so looking forward to it. I know, right? I was like, yes, what I want more than anything is a movie with a gigantic I know. shark. Prehistoric and shark and yeah. Jason Statham. That's win-win right. right there. Anyway, so... so what do you think about this movie, Josh? Um... You know? Is it as good as Jaws? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Close. No. <laughs> it's. I liked it better than Deep Blue Sea, but uh, no, it's, like not, it's it? not better than Jaws. What did I like about it? You know, I mean, it's silly and it's funny and it's goofy and it doesn't take itself too seriously. I, you know, I did not obviously go into the show thinking I'm going to see some great, super accurate, you know piece of science. Right. <laughs> Science-based stuff. It was fun, action-y, campy, even silly at times. And it was the good kind of silly where like a so bad it's good kind of movie and it just it worked in this movie. I mean the cast was actually pretty good. Jason Statham does his, his good Jason Statham impersonation and runs around <laughs> and does stuff and action-y. And Rain Wilson was pretty good. Did Rain Wilson at any point during the movie feed the shark beats. That's what I want to know. Did he get the shark any beats? He did not have any beats oh, on hand. Oh, man. He darn went, it. He did not speak of that. His <laughs> teeth were beat stained, though, in one scene. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Office humor there. Anyway. So, yeah. I mean, overall, I did like this show. I mean, it was stupid and it was fun. I mean, this, this could rank up there with a really sweet, guilty pleasure style movie. I mean, yeah. it's just a lot of fun. Well, how was the CGI? How was the look of the movie? Did it look super fake the entire time you were watching it? No, this is actually a cut above your typical sci-fi channel fare. So it was... <laughs> well, I hope bad. it was several cuts above your typical <laughs> sci-fi channel maybe, fare. Maybe two or three cuts. Um, no, actually, I thought the cinematography and the visual effects were actually pretty good. Yeah? <laughs> I was surprised. I mean, it's directed by John Turtletaub, who did, like, uh, the National Treasure movies, you know, oh, okay. to name some. And... The cinematography was pretty cool, like the underwater stuff that they look at and uh, the reefs and sea life and things like that were, were pretty convincing. I mean, I didn't really spend a whole lot of time dwelling like, wow, this looks really fake. I mean, I didn't even bother with that. I was like, I didn't care. I mean, but it still actually looked pretty cool. The shark was pretty impressive and, you know, visually it was actually pretty good. It, definitely no Sharknados here. All right, so, so as far as the setup for the story... Did it make sense, or was that just part of the silliness? Like, it was just kind of like a thin plot as an excuse to show no. a big giant shark eating people? Or oh, There was that element, but actually, they actually were a little creative with where the Meg has been hiding all these years. I don't want to give any, uh, any spoilers. Um, and I th actually thought that was pretty clever, and probably the most clever part of the show, and Unfortunately for them, they got rid of it, you know, got that out of the way early on in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that ensued after that was not clever. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that you did not like about this movie? Because I know that you just kind of enjoyed it as a silly piece of right. cinema that's just fun to look at, fun to watch, and yeah. kind of a fun ride. But was there anything that was just, like, bad about it that bothered you? Like, not so bad it's good, but just bad. Yeah, there was a, the actress Ruby Rose played a scientist slash engineer and you know, genius like tech designer, uh, and I did not buy any of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's smug doing kind of the whole, I don't know, duck face at the camera here and there. And it's like, Is really? Ruby Rose the the one that was in... Um, Pitch Perfect 3. Oh, okay. That's what I was about to say. Pitch Perfect 3. Pitch yes. Perfect 3. Yeah, you I know, do not like her in Pitch Perfect 3. No, I didn't either. And I was like... I find her acting to be... Bad. Subpar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was bad. Yeah, and I know she just got cast in the Batwoman. CW Batwoman show. Yeah, I just... 
I didn't believe that for a second. I mean, I rank it right up there with the uh, miscast scientist, actress, actor, whatever, with uh, Denise Richards in her turn as Christmas Jones, the some kind of scientist in the James Bond movie. The it World was that Sonic. bad. Pretty bad. Not quite as bad as that, but she's pushing her for, for first place. <laughs> <laughs> A close second. <laughs> it's a close second. Yeah, I, everyone else like filled their caricatures of characters, you know, pretty, pretty well. You know, you you, you knew what to expect, and right. then they introduced her. It's like, okay, don't buy that for a second. I don't, I don't know why. Her acting, uh, just demeanor on screen. I don't know. I just didn't buy that part. Hmm. I was I was kind of secretly hoping she'd get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> but she did not. Well, the oh. secret is out. <laughs> don't. Not a secret anymore. Not a secret anymore. All right. Well, anything else? What would you give? What was your rating? What's your rating for this movie? Well, I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Thanks for sharing. I don't. I don't. Know. <laughs> thanks for that. Well, that's the well, response to the question. I don't know. What am I doing here? <laughs> Who cares? I saw a shark eat things. <laughs> All right. I would give this probably a two and a half out of five. It's it's fun. It's dumb. It's a guilty pleasure movie in the making. And that's what it's that's what it's supposed to be. I don't think it's ever intended to be anything more than that. I mean, there doesn't need to be depth in this movie. There's not supposed to be, and that's fine. It works for it, you know. But at the same time, is this a great movie? Like, no, it's not. And again, it's not supposed to be, and they're not trying to make it that way. Right. So two and a half out of five. Would I recommend seeing this in the theater? Absolutely. It looks cool on the big screen, and it, it's worth the watch. I mean, take a group of friends. You'll have a good time. Yeah, just to laugh at it. Yeah, just, of... just to laugh and have fun at a big, silly movie. All right. So. Okay, well, thanks, Josh. And thanks for this picture of a shark. It does, is it, spo is it a megalodon? No, since pictures of that don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> well, other artists have done renderings of what they think the megalodon looks like. <sighs> yes, and they all look like great whites. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you drew a great white. I did. Closest okay. relative, so they say. <laughs> All right, so enjoy this picture of a great white shark. Megalodon, come on. Even now. though the movie is not about a great white shark, whatever. I feel oh. like you kind of cheated on this one. <laughs> How dare you? Oh. How dare you? I'm done busting Josh's chops for tonight, so this wraps up this con this edition of Drawing Conclusions, <laughs> and I can't talk. Ooh, she card reads good. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, check us out on Patreon. That link is down there in the video description. Thanks. <laughs>